it's Barbara. It is not sunny out there. But Dennis says today's going to be the best day in the next few days. So that's depressing. <laughs> oh, well. Good morning. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. Yeah, yeah. I said yesterday he may never get to mow again. So <laughs> we're going to be living in a jungle. <laughs> But, you know, if it's not too rainy, maybe, I don't know, take a ride to the gardening store and get some plants for the deck. But I will need to deal with them before I go back to State College on Friday, so we'll see. See how I feel. I'm a little low energy at the moment, I will confess, so we'll see. I read yesterday for a while. I talked to Christy for a while on Zoom, so that was fun. We caught up, so there you go. Still concerned about my dad. I forget what exactly what details I gave you yesterday, but he had been discharged to a rehab center. He walked in there. He hated it hated it but the guy on the other bed had air freshener some kind of scent thing in the room and daddy immediately started having trouble breathing I'm allergic to scent I get it from him but he has asthma so he was having trouble breathing they tried to fix it open the window got rid of the thing you know whatever but the other night he had he was having trouble breathing and he went to the ER so he's in the hospital again and it turns out he has a lung infection now I don't know if you can get a lung infection from an air freshener but it surely did not help him so he's back in the hospital so keep your fingers crossed he's on antibiotics and uh, yeah so all your thoughts and prayers are appreciated My brother will be able to go see him this this morning, so see how he's doing. He was a little out. He was out of it yesterday, so. Mama's doing okay. Although she misses my dad, of course. And my dad is missing her, so. Anyway. I think, you know, this all started because he fell and tore a muscle. But I think when you're 92 years old, a fall like that, even if you don't bump your head, he didn't bump his head, he didn't break anything, he tore a muscle and, um, you know, got a bruise on his side because he fell, but it was really jarring. And I think it just ends up having a knock-on effect that you wouldn't necessarily expect from the original event. So anyway... So we are trying to stay optimistic <laughs> that this lung infection will clear up and that he can start, you know, getting stronger because he's, you know, we're getting, coming up on two weeks. He's been really pretty much in bed in the hospital one way or the other. So this is not how we were hoping it would go, let us say. Meanwhile, my brother is, you know, the point person in State College, so I really appreciate all the work he's doing, and his wife, my sister-in-law, so kudos to them. Meanwhile, I'm here. I told him I'd come, you know, if he needed me, and I might come, I'd go if I need to go, you know, but meanwhile... I'm here trying not to stress too much this is me trying not to stress too much how's it going <laughs> anyway still dreary I'm wearing, still wearing my sweaters which cheer me up we did get a walk-in surprisingly yesterday even though it was raining the whole time I mean it was slight drizzle when we were out but it was very light and you know we can dress for that and so the girls got their walk which they need <laughs> so that was good 
Um, yeah, Dennis started his bacon yesterday, which is a pork belly. And so he trims that to make it nice and straight for the slicer when it turns into bacon. And so with the trimmings, he made a stir fry for dinner. It was delicious. So that was fun. We've been watching the baby birds. The eagles are, the baby eagles are about the same size as the male eagle is. So they are huge. And we're trying really hard. You know, they're flapping their wings, getting the muscles going. And they'll soon be gone. I don't know what Aura's going to do then. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was reading and, uh, oh, and I was playing around a little bit with my new laptop. Den Dennis ordered me a laptop and he's got it all going and everything. Now I just have to set it up, you know, like I have shortcuts on my desktop to things that, you know, I go to all the time. So now I've got to figure out where they are and put the shortcuts on my new desktop, that kind of thing. But, um... Yeah, it's fancy. Now, I zoomed on it last night with Christy, and the sound was not great. I was having trouble, I finally figured out where the sound was coming out of and stopped, you know. I mean, it, it's sort of on the angled sides. There are angled sides underneath, and that's where the speakers were, but sometimes they were getting covered up when it was on, and it was on my lap, and so with my sweater or whatever. So I figured out not to do that, but some of the sound coming out of it, uh, you know, mostly it was fine, but every once in a while, Christy sounded tinny, you know, like that old timey tinny sound. And so that was weird. And also in my, with my other laptop, when Rich starts talking on the other side of the room, I could usually hear him, but this, on uh, this time I couldn't hear him. It sounded, he sounded like the parents on the uh, Charlie Brown movies, you know, but I couldn't understand a word he said. So, you know, not the, not the perfect experience, but nothing changed on her end. So clearly it was the laptop. So Dennis took it and started fiddling with the sound option things. You know, he like played a video. Um, on YouTube and fiddled with the sound option things and he thinks that he's fixed that so we will see um, I guess we'll see next Sunday when I zoom with Christy or oh I won't oh, next Sunday I'll be with my mother next Sunday's Mother's Day I'll be with my mother um, so I won't be zooming with Christy or maybe Christy and I could both, or Mama and I could both Zoom with Christy for a minute. That would be fun. I'm sure Christy would like to wish her a happy Mother's Day, too. And I could test the sound. But either way, I'll test it on our Zoom. is on the 18th. And I will be Zooming on my new laptop. My new laptop is sitting right here. This is the charging station. My problem with my laptop is, and this is the second laptop that it's happened with, the um, where the plug goes in, to, in it to charge it starts losing its connection so I have to fiddle like crazy to get it charged well you've heard me if you're zoom with me you've heard me trying to fit you know fiddle with it and it got to the point where I was worried that it wasn't gonna be chargeable and then what do you do how do you transfer all your stuff right so I can, I had two birthday presents coming, so my laptop is two birthdays worth, and uh, I used my birthday presents to get a new laptop, and all I do on that laptop is Zoom and email, <laughs> and sometimes I uh, watch videos, but mostly I don't. And I suppose I really could have done those things with a tablet, but um, Dennis was having trouble connecting the tablet. Tablet. Well, I have a tablet. It's a Huawei tablet. I've had it for years and haven't done anything with it. And in fact, now it's upstairs, uh, and it's what Aura is watching her birds on. And I hadn't used it. And of course, Huawei is no longer supported in the United States, so because it's a Chinese company. 
so, but I didn't really, you know, anyway, Dennis hadn't figured out how to connect it to the printer in our, in our home network, so, so I got the laptop, what the hell, and, uh, and I might be able to print to the color printer on my new laptop because for some reason I lost the ability to send things to the color printer from my old lab. You know, it was like little things like that. I was like, okay, this isn't working great. Um, so anyway, I played with it a little bit and I have to play with it a little bit today because I have a bill I have to pay. But I don't know, don't know how to pay the bill without my spreadsheet with all my information on it, which is somewhere in our network, but my, I don't have a shortcut on my desktop. <laughs> so I have to go find it and then figure out how to put a shortcut on my desktop. That's my current plan. Sorry, I know. Well, you know, when you don't really do anything and you talk to your friends over your cup of coffee, this is the kind of thing you hear. I'm sorry about that. My one Gerbera da daisy perked back up. When I got home, um, I could see out the window that one of my daisies was like, I'm like, put water in a pitcher and said, Isabel, Isabel, do me a favor. So she went out and watered it, and it has perked back up. I'm hoping that the uh, rains have been giving my other plants enough because I haven't gone out and watered them. But we have been raining for a couple of days now. Not heavy, but maybe enough. Let's see. Meanwhile, Pearl's walking around trying to entice me with her frisbee, so on a rainy day, she's not having a lot of success. Meanwhile, yeah, so a lot of uh, psychic energy heading towards my parents these days, and I am trying to just take it easy on myself. The cleaners come tomorrow, but I cleared the tables because we ate at the table um, on Sunday, which was on Saturday. And so so the table's pretty clean. So I, it's not gonna be a big deal to get the house straight for the cleaners, you know. The worst part is gonna be, it's gonna be a rainy day and what do I do with the dogs when they're doing the downstairs? Normally, I would have them out on the deck with me. Maybe I'll have them upstairs with me. So they are down, blocked downstairs while Pete and Terry are upstairs. And then when Pete and Terry come down, the dogs normally go outside. Logistics. Anyway, they're coming tomorrow. So I do have to straighten up a little bit and, you know, see what I'm going to do. I am considering starting a project and knitting my mother a twiddle muff because you know she's at the stage where a twiddle muff might be soothing for her I have to figure out I I was looking on I was on my phone looking oh this is something I can do with my new laptop this is something I do on my on my laptop which is my any Ravelry that I'm gonna do so I may be rummaging around in Ravelry today on my new laptop to look at twiddle muff type um, patterns and see what they kinds of things they suggest I know Leslie crochets them all the time and yeah I need to figure out sort of what are the what are the elements that go on a twiddle muff that are soothing. Then my mom could use a twiddle muff. She spends a lot of time like folding napkins and kneading her blanket, lap blanket and things like that. So it makes me think that those things are soothing to her and I imagine a twiddle muff would be too. So I need to look at that. In fact, uh, my brother and sister-in-law gave me a bag of yarn that they ha had at the house to make a twiddle muff. Obviously it has to be uh, washable. Like I said, I don't remember what I said yesterday, but I think I'm going to go to Goodwill before I go back on Friday and get my mom some nice, very washable sweaters because when they, they change, they get her ready for bed 
and they just threw everything she was wearing in the hamper, including her sweater. And it's an industrial laundry, you know, service, so I am not taking the sweater I made her back. I think I told you this yesterday, though. All right, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> And I'm tired of hearing me talk. <laughs> so I'm going to stop. Meanwhile, I might make a list of the kind of plants, some plants that I want to buy. I have that um, flower garden around my lamppost in the front near the garage. And my irises are coming up and the flowers are going to be open. I think they'll probably open on Friday when I leave. I'm actually, while I'm at the Goodwill, I'm going to look for like a bud vase or something there because I think I'm going to try to take um, some of the irises from my garden to my mother for Mother's Day or her Mother's Day flowers. I think she'll like that. So anyway, I, you know, um, I had all the cone flowers removed from that, and, and, and of course they didn't all, they're not all removed, Every, you know, they come back there, so they really want to thrive, but most of them are gone, so the ones that are staying are staying, but I'm going to get maybe some um, <clears throat> daisies and some black eye Susans to go in among the cone flowers, because the cone flowers are pink, and that'll be pretty. And I do want to get something, and I've got some suggestions from you, thank you, I might end up trying lavender, actual lavender, and then um, something low in the front. My Stelladora lilies are coming back. They look good and healthy, and that's fun. So I do want to put a few things in there, and there's no reason not to put annuals in there if I want to, if I have something that I want to do. So, And I'm getting New Guinea impatience for the flower box in the back. So I know a few things I have in my mind, and uh, so I might make a list and do a first pass. I, I guess I really only want to get the flowers that I'm going to be able to process before I go again on Friday. So keep that in mind, and that it's supposed to be raining. But, you know, I'm not sugar. I won't melt. I can plant things in the rain. It's not pouring rain. It's just rainy. So... That's where I am thinking. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the ramble. Luckily, I'm on YouTube, and you can fast forward. <laughs> All right, Barb, I'm tired of this. You yeah, know, go 15 seconds, 15 seconds, 15 seconds, or whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, thank you so much for joining me. Please, please take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay sane.